Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler, and today we're going to be talking about the untold story behind one of PAC's uh, most recent publications, the Definitive Guide to Power Query M. This book right here. This, uh, it's, yeah, that's a video or whatever, but uh, look at this chunky book. Look at that thing. It's crazy. Seven, it's like over 700 pages of actual real information, uh, plus table of contents and everything else, the index. You know, brings up like 740, 750 pages in this bad boy. Just an absolutely massive undertaking. And one of the most uh, I interesting experiences I've had in doing a uh, Publications for Pact this is my sixth sixth book with Pact, and it has the, probably the most interesting backstory of any of them. Um, and the, and every book has a story about how it actually comes into being and the the actual creation of the book. Um, you know, it just doesn't like pop in, you know, just pop into print, you know, out of nowhere, right? There's, there's a ton of effort that goes into every single one of them. There's an interesting story behind them, and these stories don't get told very often. So I thought I would take the opportunity to make a video and tell the story behind behind this book right here and how this thing came into being. So now before, before we get into that, um, I want to I want to definitely, you know, call out a couple things. One is the unsung heroes, right? So if you open up the first page, you know, go in the page right before the forward, the one that everybody skips over, um, you know, this has got the copyright information and all that. Um, there's a bunch of names you'll find here, like, you know, the senior publishing product manager, Devin George. And the product project editor, Rihanna Rodriguez, and the technical editors, Anari Patel, Kushal Sharma, um, developing relations, marketing executive, Vignesh Rahu. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I apologize. I'm like, I can't, there's a bunch of names here, and I'm not going to drain all of them here. Um, but they all deserve just as much credit as, as the authors for bringing a book like this to life. And every time I've worked with PACT, I've had a team like this uh, from PACT that has been, that makes my life easy. Um, in terms of, you know, I can organize the structure of the book, you know, the ideas behind, the, you know, within the book. I can write the words, but I, you know, I authors have no idea about, you know, page layout, you know, and and all the editing and proofreading and all of that that goes into it and the formatting the pictures and I mean, and on and on how to get the book, you know, up onto Amazon to be able to actually sell the thing. You know, all of these other things that go into the book. You know, these people, these team, this team of people, you know, they take care of it. And this book wouldn't exist without them. And they, so they deserve as much credit as the authors. You know, we get all the glory because our, our faces are on the cover, right? And our names on the cover. Um, but these are the unsung heroes uh, when it comes to really getting a book out there. It would not happen without a team like this. Um, and every time I worked with PAC, it's been a wonderful experience. I've had a great team to work with, and they were just top-notch professionals that do an amazing job. And I would, I would never dream of publishing a book with anybody other than PAC. I don't know why I would ever do do anything like I can't imagine having a better experience uh, than I have with uh, PAC. So shout out to everyone at PAC um, that makes these things possible. Um, the other unsung heroes, right, are the, the reviewers. I'm not going to, I'm going to butcher their, their last names if I try them, um, but Aaron, you know, and Vahid and, and Ahmed, thank you very much. You know, you guys put in a ton of effort. I've, I've been technical editor or reviewer on a number of books as well. I know that there's, you know, it's work involved to, to do that, to test all of the code and make sure everything, you know, it works and 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 provide like really valuable feedback. We got really valuable feedback from the reviewers on this, from the technical editors and all that, um, that made the book, you know, that much better. Um, so I want to shout out the Unsung Heroes. Um, the other, um, so, well, I'm losing my train of thought here, but um, the other thing I want to make clear about this is that, you know, while this is my sixth publication, in fact, I am the least important person um, that that helped write this book, right? The real stars of the show are, you know, are Rick DeGroote, Melissa DeCorte, and Brian Julius, right? And, you know, maybe you're thinking, well, Brian Julius, well, you wrote the forward, um, but, but you guys don't even know half the story. Um, so that's that's what the rest of this video is going to be about. Is I'm gonna fill you like Brian did a good job of kind of summarizing or whatever, but he he is he is too humble of a person, um, and uh, you know, and I'm just gonna I, I don't care. I'm just gonna you know I'm gonna I'm gonna call him out and, and I'm gonna show you just how much how important he was to this book being created and you having it in your hands today, or hopefully you know maybe you'll get you know get a copy um, after you watch this video. Um, um, but huge shout out to Brian Julius on this and, and, and the forward doesn't even do begin to do justice to but to how important he was uh, to this book. So to that right as Brian covered in this forward you know the the 
where this book originated, right, was Brian, you know, Brian Julius and I, we had, we were back in early 2023, January, February, March, you know, we would have regular meetings um, about, you know, because we were both doing work for Enterprise DNA. I was, I was helping them with their external tools, their external tooling, and Brian was doing a lot of uh, their videos and content and promotion, right? And, uh, and so we would always, we would have these regular meetings between us. Um, and, you know, we talk about, you know, things that, you know, upcoming blog series, upcoming video series, things like that, enterprise DNA stuff. Um, but one of the recurring things that kept coming up, Brian kept coming up, uh, bringing up was, you know, the, his belief that there needed to be the equivalent of, and the, this, the, his words, right, the equivalent of the definitive guide to DAX, but for Power Query app. And he would bring this, he would bring this up, you know, you know, numerous times on our, on our, on our discussions. And, you know, he, he was like, hey, I've been trying to bug Rick DeGroote and Melissa DeCorte, you know, to write that. And um, and so he'd bring, you know, we'd talk about it. And and I have to admit that I was, I was initially, I was pretty, I was kind of skeptical, um, honestly. Uh, I didn't know if there was to be a market for this book. Um, because, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, there's tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of, of Power BI users and Excel users. And they're, you know, they're probably the first thing they're going to write is some DAX. Um, and so, you know, there's a pretty wide market, so I could see a book on DAX. So, you know, but, you know, the Power Query Editor is pretty, you know, pretty stellar, you know, interface. You can do a lot with it. Um, and, you know, for the average business user, you can get a lot done with just the graphical user interface. Um, and, you know, but you know, it's like, is there really a market for, for I mean, writing a, a book on a language? That is a pretty niche kind of thing. Um, you know, how just how many people are going to buy that book and and uh, so anyway, I had all these, you know, and then you you think about it, right? Um, they, you know, you know, the other thing I would think about is, well, you know, Microsoft has, you know, this Power Query M language specification, which is sort of, you know, but, you know, Brian would argue back, you know, well, that's kind of reads like stereo instructions and this and that. Anyway, long story short is Brian finally convinced me, right? So I think it was running March time frame. Brian finally convinced me. I'm like, okay, Brian, all right. Well, let's, you know, I got some contacts at PAC. You know, I, you know, we can, we can probably, you know, we can probably uh, pitch this to them. And, and like, the, but the problem is, Brian, I, I am, I am not qualified to write that book, right? I, I know my limitations, right? I am, I know enough Power Query M to be dangerous, but writing, you know, the kind of the equivalent to the definitive guide to Power, to DAX for Power Query M, it's like, that is not me, man. You know, you know, we're going to need, you know, somebody else. You know, you're, you know, and Brian, you know, wanted to, wanted to help author the book, and Brian is very good at that, at Power Query. Um, but, you know, just like I think, like the, a lot of the other authors, and, and why that this book hasn't existed yet, is that it is a tremendous undertaking, um, just a huge amount of work, right? Because, you know, it's some of the other books that I've written, like Learn Power BI, you know, it's it's kind of a learn series from PACT. There's kind of a format for it. There's a kind of a template for it. Same thing with their cookbooks, like Dax Cookbook and Power, you know, Power BI Cookbook. And that was even I even had Brett Powell, you know, written the first edition. I was just kind of taking it over from him, um, and just you know taking it, you know, it's, and updating it. Same thing with Mastering Power BI Second Edition. You know, this book, you know, was daunting in that there was no template for it. Right, there was no money that had written a book on just the Power Query M language itself um, that I that at least I'm aware of. Um, and so, you know, it was very daunting undertaking. So we're like, oh, you know, we're going to, well, what if we get, and I just come off of technical editing, uh, Power BI Quick Start, and they had like, you know, they had like four authors on it. And I'm like, so I can, yeah, that's where the, so the idea came with like, well, what if we just got like, you know, three, four authors, you know, five authors, and we got together and we, that way it's only, we don't have to write like, you know, three or four chapters each, five chapters each, whatever it happens to be. But then it's not just so much of an effort, just one person. And so, okay, so when you, so you like, okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's, let's go. Um, so I started uh, emailing Pact about it um, and, you know, pitching the idea to them. Um, and they, you know, they came back and they were, they were for the idea. And, and, and you know, of course, they're going to want um, an outline for the book. Um, so, they, you know, so they can take it to their people and basically say, you know, is this, is this something that looks like, you know, the market, you know, would want? And whether, you know, would you buy a book if, if it had this information in it? And so to, to just to give you a sense of so here's Brian Julius. He wrote the very first outline for the definitive guide to Power Query. And and I have to tell you like so we were like, well we want to write a book that's 
you know, the equivalent of the definitive guide to the DAX. What are we going to call it? I'm like, well, you know, we're like, well, why not call it the definitive guide to Power Query? You know, well, at least it'll be a working title. And I never dreamed in a million years that it would actually go to publication, you know, under that name. But it did. <laughs> um, they actually, the working title became the actual title of the book uh, with the addition of the M on the, on the end of this. Um, so Brian actually wrote the very first uh, outline for this. And so you can see here, you know, and the one thing you're going <laughs> to notice about this it is very different than the book that you that you may hold in your hands today uh, or that you will buy in in and uh, in the chapters and all of that stuff. All the same concepts are there. Um, I'm think pretty, you know, working with nested structures and all of that sort of stuff, recursion, uh, debugging and performance testing and optimization. You know, all of these things were, were there, custom connectors, metadata, um, but very different format, very different order. Um, and that's the interesting thing about that was interesting, big learning experience for me on this book was, again, it was it was a complete blank slate. We had to invent, you know, the outline and the concepts you know, what was going to be included in it from scratch, more or less. And and also working with other co-authors, um, it was a big learning curve for me because in the past with my other the other five books, I really had primarily been, you know, in control of it. And, you know, you asked Brett Powell in those books and he provided feedback and stuff as well. But I was really more kind of point on those. But this was a true, you know, blank slate collaborative effort between originally four authors. Um, so it ended up that so I so I submitted this, you know, this outline to PACT to get their feedback on it. Um, and then we started searching for authors. And um, you know, I reached out to all the usual suspects, you know, Ben Grambito and NK Feldman and 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 a number of different you know people that are well known in the M community. Um, and, and obviously Rick DeGroote and Melissa DeCorte uh, and the people that, you know, ended up responding like, yeah, I'd be I, I'd be interested in writing that book, you know, helping with that book uh, ended up being Rick and Melissa. So we went forward uh, with, you know, myself, Brian, Julius, uh, Rick uh, and Melissa. And the reason I say, you know, I'm the least important person in this book, I really saw myself. OK, I'll write a few of the, ch the chapters, the easy chapters, right? I'll write a few of the easy chapters. Um, and then you guys can take care of the, the the main crux of it. And I really saw myself really more as a facilitator. You know, I've worked with PAC before. I know, you know, how the book publication process works. You know, I can I can fill out all the forms for everything because uh, a bunch of forms you got to fill out and everything else. So when this outline, right, it became this outline here. So PAC has a template for it, right? And you got to submit, you know, everything about the book, like uh, the market, you know, the research, the target audience. So I've been through this process before, so I knew how this works. So I was like, I, you know, I'll take I'll take care of, uh, you know, doing that sort of stuff. Um, you know, you do an overview of the book. You know, eventually you get down to the general structure and then change chapter outline. So like introducing Power Query Formula Language M, you know, and you got some headings here of what you're thinking are going to be in that chapter uh, reference, you know. So you'll see, again, if you have the book, uh, you'll notice that this is very different um, than the, what it actually we went into print with. Um, but this was early concept stuff. Um, and then, you know, but it's got all the same types of stuff. So then you have to get, in, get even more granular, you know, and say, OK, here's your chapter one. Here's a description of the chapter. Here's what the headings are going to be. Here's the skills that you're going to learn. And you got to do that for every single one of the chapters. So so it's like, I've, I've been through this stuff. You know, I'll take care of this part of it. You know, no problem. So this went through this revision. It went through another revision, right? And then you finally settled on, you know, <laughs> the book. Um, and then you get, you end up getting a schedule, right? So you basically say, okay, here's the here's the titles, you know, that you have. This is what we kind of eventually settled on as far as the titles originally. You'll notice there's they are different and they're out of order <laughs> compared to what the print was. You know, and then you assign, you know, your authors. And so really, so between all of this was going on between like April and July, June, July, like like so just getting the authors around and, you know, getting packed and reviewing it and doing all the paperwork and all that sort of stuff. It took that long just, you know, just to get to that point. And then we're ready to start. OK, let's start writing, you know, so that's, you know, start dates July 1st. And then they give you your your first draft submission, you know, how many days per chapter you're expected to take. And there's some negotiation on this. Um, and then how many pages we think each chapter is going to be. If you notice, you know, originally it was going to be around 600 pages and end up being 100 pages more than that, um, at least. Um, so and then we assigned in. So if you ever want to know 
like who wrote what chapters, right? So I wrote, you know, like the first and second chapter, um, accessing and combining data, um, which was originally chapter eight, you know, and it became chapter three eventually. And it moved around. Uh, a lot of these chapters like moved around as we as we got into writing the chapters in the book, you know, we would realize, oh, you know, we're covering this concept, but we haven't even introduced that concept yet. So we need to move these chapters around and stuff. So there was a ton of that that went on with this book. Um, and Rick uh, did a great job of of kind of helping keep all of that straight. Um, so yeah, so we got together and, and you know we got the schedule together and now it's time to go start writing the book. So then, so Brian Julius, you know, he comes back and says, well, you know, it'd be a good idea if we had like a, a weekly author's call. Yeah, so he set up you know, a weekly author's call for us and then we had set up a, a OneDrive. Uh, so let's see if I have that here. Um, yeah, so we set up a OneDrive, right? I set up a OneDrive and shared it out with them. And then, you know, that way we could start writing chapters because we didn't have anything from Pact yet because um, we're early, early on in this. Um, and so we started writing the chapters and sharing with each other um, so that, you know, we could review each other's chapters and see what each other was covering, you know, make suggestions, make edits um, and that sort of thing. So, you know, in, in, in kudos to Rick and Melissa, they, you know, they had never been through this process before. Um, and so it was a, it, I, I guarantee it was a learning curve for them, right? In terms of uh, the first time you write a book, just learning all the process. And when I say that, you know, there's a ton of these. So, but PACT does a really good job. One of the reasons I love working with PACT is that they do a really good job. You know, they'll get, when he's first starting a, a book, and this is like my, this is like my working, you know, directory that I used um, in my own OneDrive as far as it's, it's got actually all my books, you know, that I keep them here you know, Dax cookbook. And if we ever get to write a Dax cookbook three, all of that stuff, I keep all that stuff organized here. Um, but they'll send you an author bundle, packed will. And it has like, you know, an author's toolbox and, you know, don't plagiarize stuff, and, you know, and and a bunch of, you know, good, useful and helpful information, sample chapters, temp templates, so that you can just, you know, take this sample chapter and then just start writing, you know, writing the book or writing the chapter and the stuff like that. So, so we got to work doing that. Um, and and so yeah and so then so back to the schedule and and you know if you look on here you know the original publication date was uh february 9th you know we kept you know it ended up coming out march end of march that's that's not bad you know we, we kept to uh the schedule pretty well um so you know so then what happens is is that uh pack will start the process uh they'll get you a a if i can find it um, they'll get you a, a site. So they said, so here's some more behind the scenes Who wants to come up. There's more behind the scenes, right? So they set up, you know, out, um, in their, uh, SharePoint, right? They set up a, a folder and stuff and share it out with you. And it's, it's all very secure and two factor authentication and all that. Um, and then, you know, <laughs> I'm just going to go in here and show you some of the, so, you know, you start writing the chapters and it gets such, you know, it gets a number and you start writing your chapters and the way it works is, you know, they will the from author you start posting your your um chapters out there and then you know they will turn them as as two author once they've been you know like the technical reviewers have, have seen them and the editors and all that stuff they'll strike things out and all of that sort of stuff and so it goes you know your first draft you know then it'll get eventually go to a second draft um it'll go to the pre-production which is more like a pdf that they send you um and i actually might be able to see that here yeah, so then eventually becomes like more like PDF formats. Um, and then, you know, so that's, you're getting close at the, once you get to the PDFs, right? Um, and so you're making comments and you're maybe, you know, still tweaking a few things here and there. Uh, then the dread, the last step is always the dreaded rejected images. So when you're taking screenshots and you're posting them in there, invariably there's some that are blurry, they come up to the too small text and everything. It's my like my least favorite part of of the book is like it's like oh you know it's like you know you get back you know you rejected image you're like oh no it's like I got to replace like you know seven dozen images <laughs> you know it's like I got to re re redo those um, but yeah well that's kind of almost like the final step and uh, so so here's something that you probably won't see right so this so there's Brian Julius this is an early version of the cover this is the original version of the cover. Uh, with Brian Julius, you know, and uh, different, you know, Melissa had a different headshot then. Um, and so, you know, you know, I was glad I could find this. Um, it was in my, buried in my email. So this is the original version of the cover 
um, you know, that with Brian Julius on there in that. And Brian, and so Brian had to drop out for us for personal reasons. And that was probably the real low part of point of the book, um, you know, for the entire team, I think, was when Brian had to withdraw. And it was really uh, super conflicting for me um, because it was, I was like, well, this, is, this was Brian's idea, man. He's the one that that, that came up with the idea and, and put, you know, pushed the idea and convinced, you know, convinced me that it was a good idea. Um, and so I was, I was really personally conflicted about it because I was like, man, you know, I, you know, it's almost, you know, I almost saw it as like taking credit for his idea, right? And, but Brian, you know, Brian is an amazing human being. Um, he's just, he's just the best. Um, and, you know, and he, he wanted us to continue with the book. Um, and so, it, and so we did. Um, and it's, I think it turned out great. Uh, it's uh, probably the, the book I'm the most proud of. Um, I probably learned the most about it. Um, in terms of collaborating with with other authors and that, um, but it was a, it was a process. It was, it was, you know, the writing stuff has always come pretty easy and natural to me as far as writing stuff. Um, uh, but trying to invent something for just from a blank slate, especially on something just as daunting as as the M <laughs> language, because it's just so massive, um, and it's it, there's just so many uh, there's just so many technical elements to it, um, and it's it. And just getting to work with Rick DeGroote, Melissa DeCorte, uh, and Brian on on this thing was just it's just was been a great experience for me. I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, so I mean, you know, when, when I say that you know this book wouldn't exist without Brian Julius, I am I am one hundred percent that is the one the one hundred percent truth. Um, and you know, and yes, obviously the book wouldn't exist with without Melissa DeCorte and Rick Rick DeGroote and all those people at Pact. Uh, that deserve to be uh, recognized for all of their effort and hard work on this stuff too. Um, but there you have it. If you ever wondered about, you know, book publication process and how it works and, you know, what you have to go through uh, to get it done and how something like this massive, right, you know, comes into being, um, it, it is, it's an act of sheer will to get, to get a book published um, and to write a book like this and get it, get it over the, get it over the hump and get it out there. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's great, but it's great. And I encourage, you know, if you ever have an interest in writing a book or whatever, you know, PAC's always looking for authors, you know, contact them, pitch them your idea. And, you know, they're great to work with. Um, and I encourage more people. Uh, that's the one of the greatest joys I got out of this was that, you know, Rick and, and Melissa now, you know, they're published authors. They've been through the pre process. You know, they're they're old, they're old pros at it now, right? You know, and I hope to see the next book by Rick, uh, uh, Rick DeGroote and Melissa DeCorte. Um, you know, because I think, at least for me, once once I published my first book uh, with Pact, Learn Power BI, you know, it's one of those things where I, I, I just kind of caught the bug. And I, you know, I, I really enjoy uh, writing books, you know, for the community. Um, and, and that's what it's really all about. Um, is getting that knowledge and that information out to the community. And you, the community has been fantastic um, with their feedback, their feedback on this book. It's been really great. Um, it's just, it's great. People are taking pictures of the books in their houses and with their cats, you know, and all that stuff. It's been great to see. Um, I think it's, you know, it's gotten better reception than, than any other book that, you know, I've written. Um, and there's the sales are off the charts and we, can't say enough about you, the community, and how much you've supported this book um, and the feedback that you've given us, and it's really appreciated. And I'm so long-witted, I have no idea how long this video is, but that's really all I had to say. I, I really greatly appreciate everyone involved in, in the authorship and production of this book, and I really appreciate the community. You know, can't say enough about you guys. Um, it's just, it's been super great experience for me. So. That's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll, I'll see you next time.